leaving Oklahoma City today. Not sure if we'll actually make it out of Oklahoma today or not. I've convinced TJ to do a scenic drive. Uh, so we're getting off of I-40 and headed towards the Talamina National Scenic Byway. Which is totally fine by me. I hate driving on the highway. <laughs> um, yeah, so we may find a little town to stop in uh, in eastern Oklahoma or we may make it into Arkansas today. We're just kind of playing it by ear. We made it into Arkansas tonight. That uh, Tillamina Drive was... was no joke. Yeah, that they was... tried to kill us. <laughs> the person that recommended it to us. Thank you. It was beautiful. It was. It was very beautiful. But it was a little bit scary. <laughs> there was a 13% grade on that drive. Up and down. Yikes. Yeah, it was, uh, it was an experience. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we've made it to Queen Wilhelmina State Park. Yes, it's in Mina, Arkansas. Uh, it's the second highest point in Arkansas and it's really pretty. It's beautiful here. Yeah, we've come just in time to catch the sunset, which I don't really think is coming through on the camera. There's a really nice lodge. Come on, let's pivot and show them. <laughs> Yeah, so a beautiful place to spend the night, uh, and I think we're going to head in and... Uh, to be clear, we're staying in the campground, not, yes. not in the lodge. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> we have a very nice campground here, $24 a night, water electric, very cool. Yep, nice place. Well, today we are visiting Hot Springs National Park. Uh, this is a really unique national park. Uh, it just kind of... It's right in the middle of Hot Springs, Arkansas, which right downtown. Right, right in the middle of town. Uh, it is the smallest national park, and they turned these hot springs uh, into well, they made a bunch of bathhouses back in the 50s, 60s, That's back right. in the day, <laughs> and. Uh, it became a an attraction that it drew a lot of people to this area and they kind of built this whole downtown area around the bathhouses. So just super unique. Um, unlike anything we've ever done any before. Park that we've ever seen. It's also very loud because we're right at we're the we're right in the middle of downtown. <laughs> we're right at the street's edge, but um, we're getting ready now to walk down what they call bathhouse row, which is where all the obviously bathhouses are so we're gonna check that out yeah we're headed to the visitor center and this is just i don't know how else to say it it's just a really neat area there's all of these older buildings with really unique architecture uh it's just got a really cool vibe to it even so. without the uh, the hot springs aspect of it it's just a cool little downtown it really is arkansas it has really surprised and impressed me i'm really enjoying the state so far it's really what we've seen so far has been really beautiful absolutely
So we are in the Fortis bathhouse, which also happens to be the visitor center, and they've um, turned it into a museum too, so you can see what the bathhouses looked like back in the... I was wrong, it was quite a bit longer ago than I originally thought when I said 50s or 60s. This started in the late 1800s, I think we saw. That's what it said, yeah. Yeah, like 1888 or something. So um, people used to, this used to be the thing to do. People would come to bathhouses. They'd come here like yearly and, and just soak in the baths. Yeah, they thought that there Drink were, <laughs> they thought that there were healing um, properties. Right, in the thermal waters. So the water, when it comes out of the ground at this particular hot spring, is 143 degrees. So it's too hot to actually soak in the spring itself. So they would tone it down to about 100 degrees. Yeah, they capped the springs and built the bathhouses and diverted the water into the bathhouses and were able to control the temperature of the waters. And they built kind of an entire tourist um, area it's around a this. It really is. I mean there's four stories. The top is a roof garden, it's, which you can't get to now, but it used to be a roof garden. This is like a parlor, just kind of a hangout area. Right. It's beautiful. It was the spas of a century ago, essentially. Right. And uh, yeah, it's pretty neat to see this history. It's really beautiful. The intricate tile work throughout uh, this building is, is gorgeous. So enjoying seeing it. Very cool. two bathhouses still in operation today. The one behind us is the Faux Pas bathhouse and there's also a, another one, Buckstaff. The Buckstaff, yep. Yeah, so if you're interested in taking a, a bath, <laughs> you can still do it today. Taking a bath financially and figuratively. Oh, stop. We're not sure how much it costs. We haven't looked sure. into So this is the second uh, bathhouse that's still in operation yeah. today. This is the Buckstaff yeah. bathhouse. Uh, and this is the one that uh, has been in operation since the beginning. Continuously uh, in operation. Correct. Uh, we just went in just kind of curious what the cost was if we wanted to take a bath. <laughs> so you can sit in a Whirlpool bath for I think it was $33? $33, yeah. Or they have a package that includes a loofah something includes or other. <laughs> and a 20 minute massage for $80. So, you know, it's it would be an experience. It's already past the time today. I think the cutoff is three o'clock and it's 3.30. So even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to today. But, um, you know, it, it would be something kind of neat to do, I think. Behind Bathhouse Row is the Grand Promenade, which is where we're walking right now. It's just a really relaxing, beautiful Kind of area. walking path. And it goes by some of the hot springs that they've kind of sealed over and you can kind of see how they've done it. Things of that sort. Things of that sort. Things of that sort. <laughs> So that is our short day in Hot Springs National Park. <laughs> we uploaded our video in a coffee shop this morning and that took to about one o'clock. So. <laughs> so we only had a few hours, which for the smallest national park was probably enough. I think we saw most of what we wanted to see. There, there's definitely more to see, but I think we got in what we wanted to. But that's always our thing, right? Leave something to come back for. Absolutely. <laughs> So, what do you think, TJ? I thought it was cool. I think this is a great little town and a fun little town. Absolutely. I agree wholeheartedly. I really enjoyed it. It's like a throwback. It's like TJ needs to be in a top hat and I need to be carrying a parasol. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 
it's really cool. I don't know. I really like it. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, we would definitely recommend visiting, I think. Absolutely. Cool. Well, we are leaving Hot Springs today and headed to Little Rock, but before we left, we wanted to tell you guys about this sweet camping spot we found. We're staying at the Cedar Glades County Park. It's uh, free to camp here. There's no hookup, so you're boondocking, uh, but really nice place. It's, uh, Brie was saying that it has some of the best mountain biking in the state of Arkansas is yeah, here. Yeah, I read that online and they've got like an RC car track. They've got a, what do you call the airplanes? They have a landing strip for RC controlled airplanes. Uh, there's a climbing wall, a rock climbing wall. It's just a pretty cool little recreation area. It really is and there's a lot of um, just large open space so it's been great for the dogs. Um, give them some space to run around and have a little bit of freedom uh, and it's just really well kept and pretty out here there are a lot of other people camping out here and best of all it's free <laughs> yeah so we just wanted to share that with you guys most people that come to hot springs stay in the state park which gets phenomenal reviews and is supposed to be an amazing place to stay but i think it was around 30 or 35 dollars at night yeah, so like we're trying to keep that monthly average below 30 and we had an expensive month last month so we're keeping that in mind and trying to find as much free or cheap camping as possible all right so yeah like Bree said headed on to Little Rock and uh, excited to check that out new town yeah very excited we were just getting ready to leave doing our final walk arounds TJ always gets the outside ready I always get the inside ready and then we always double check each other to make sure we haven't forgotten anything and today I will say it's the first time in, what, 10 months on the road, but today I found where he hitched the trailer up wrong. He had missed one side of where it latches in. It's always good to have somebody double check you. Absolutely. Uh, doesn't insult me at all. I'm happy that she does it because it keeps us safe. And I'm proud that I actually caught it, that I, every time we stop, I help him unhitch the trailer and it keeps me familiar with the way it's supposed to look and the way it's supposed to be set up so that when I'm doing my once around before we leave I know what I'm looking for and was able to catch that today so high five. Very important. <laughs>